Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK. I want to talk about Usain Bolt. I'm sure a lot of you know about Usain Bolt. And I just wanted to show you a video. Some of my videos, they don't require me to talk. This is one of them. So I'm just going to show it to you and keep my mouth shut for a change. Former track superstar scaling new heights. 76 tower built by Bolt. A true immortal. Is immortal now? You say Bolt with plenty to celebrate, a brand new building and a new rhythm. Cartel, Massacre, Chris and Mungo riding Immortal. Hold your mouth, don't make me get slippery place, don't come gritty, nothing for you, no pretty. Jerry Harden, Jack Steele, now I'm rock, but I'm making a nabbit pardon. Post-retirement boat with time and cash to spare. 76 Tower, just one of several real estate and other investments being pursued by the record-breaking Olympian. Recast now as a globe-trotting businessman and full-time party animal. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to have done this. And why not? Fully piggy run. Money have been making a big jam. Fully piggy run. Money. Only 33 and already a world-renowned sports icon. Legacy assured, but young enough to take the long view. Hard to imagine the gangly youngster from Sherwood content with even an inkling of what life had in store for him. I just want people to know that we, we, we try to do big things and we, we from the country and we work hard. You understand? Let everybody know that. Listen, anything is possible. You know, just put your mind to it and work. We're not just trucks, no in business. So, you know, anything you want, just put your mind to it and work for it. US, US, boom, boom, US, US. Office that the paper from the old to the newest. Boats building budgeted at around 8 million US and already leased to a BPO entity out of the United States. When you see that this building is literally in concrete form right now and you see your classic pose branded on this building, what's the feeling? I never knew that I would be this big as a person athlete and then to transition from this man making this type of move. For me, it's, it's like a dream come true every time I drive past the swan and say, you know what, give thanks and well done. I'm, I'm happy to show it off because I, as I said, I'm, I'm very proud of what I've accomplished over the years and, and this is just another accomplishment and we're working on more. And for Christmas, Bolt treating himself to a dance hall instrumental. I just heard the rhythm and it jumped out at I can't play the music. I was just thinking about that, you know, as I was showing it to you, that maybe I'm showing too much of the music. But anyway, if they stop it, they stop it. But you know what? It is, I have to put the light back on. It is so um, amazing, you know, to see somebody who is such, a, I mean, started off as a regular boy, grew up to be an athlete, then to become the fastest man in the world. And it's not as if he was given those skills to then become an entrepreneur. He obviously had that in him to want to do better. And when you want to do better, even if you don't have the skills, you learn the skills. There are so many people who sit back and think, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. They don't bother. They're just lethargic, lazy, and they don't get any further where they are now than where they go to in the future. But you have somebody like Usain Bolt, who is a role model, who shows you that, OK, if you do have money or if you're fortunate enough to make money on your skills, that you invest it. Now, he's built or he's yeah, bought or I don't know whether he bought it or he built it, but it's 76 stories and it's already leased out to an American company. So he can sit back. I'm sure he hasn't got no mortgage on it. He may have. Who knows? We don't know. But the fact of the matter is, he's got money coming in to pay for it. He's got money more or less for the rest of his life. And it's not like he's flaunting it. Yes, I think it's important for young people to see how, when you're making it, how you can make that money build for you. And you know, people just think he just comes up and, oh, yes, and, and start run and now he's got this building and, you know, he's making music. Yeah, money does help you to educate yourself. 
But a lot of the time, it's wanting to make yourself better. It's having that desire to do better. And that is what Bolt has. He has the desire to build, to create, to invest in more than what he is. He's typical. He's typical of the guys, that, you know, of the Bible. I love talking about the people with the talents because some people have talents and they double it, or treble it, quadruple it. You know, they just don't sit on it. Some people have talents, and they just sit on it. Some people can't do anything and they can't, they don't even try to do better. They just sit there feeling sorry for themselves or having other people do it for them. But what he has done is that he's probably paid the right people to teach him, to show him what to do and how it's done. And that is what it's about. If you don't have the skills yourself, it's about employing the skills and make things work for you. Big up, Usain Bolt. I mean, you are credit to the Jamaican race. Really and really and truly a credit. 32 years old, a young man and his head. You know, his parents must be so proud. And then on top of that, he's not forgetting his roots. I mean, he's making music with Massacre and Munga and all of Munga Honorable and all of them guys. You know, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the link if you, I mean, I'm sure if you put Usain Bolt's um, building, um, new building in YouTube, it'll come up just in case, because sometimes I do get distracted. But yeah, I just think it's absolutely great what he's done. What a credit. That's what I'm talking about, defying the negative stereotype. Too many people want to see to want to view Jamaicans as you know this bad destructive image and too many Jamaicans want to fulfill that image and it's a betrayal it's a betrayal to the Jamaican nationality because the spirit of Jamaica is not that the spirit of Jamaica is determination it's passion it's vigilance it's hard work it's determination. That is Jamaica. It's colourful. It's creative. It's ambitious. It's competitive. That is Jamaica. So when you see all these little bad men and all these things going on and people want to call that Jamaica, that's not Jamaica. That is a tiny part of a destructive part of Jamaica, but there is good and bad everywhere. So that shouldn't maim or, you know, make that part, make Jamaica look bad then. Just say it like it is. So, yeah, I just had to share it. I did say I wasn't going to say anything. Mm. It's very hard to keep me quiet. But that's all for now. Bye-bye.